In this video tutorial, I will show you how to assemble your ultimate metal stamp organizer. So you're going to receive, so you're going to receive several parts. You're going to have the acrylic and most likely yours will have a protective film on it, maybe blue, maybe clear, and it's most likely going to be on both sides. You'll have to peel that off and then you're going to get the engraved piece of Romark. You're going to receive your board, and on the back is pre-installed the support that you're going to use if you want to use it on your bench top, or the support that you're going to use if you want to hang it. Early adopters of the organizer will receive both, um, in the future, there will only be available one or the other, and there would be an extra charge if you decide you want to purchase both ways of using it. And you'll also receive, this is the support for putting it on your bench top. You'll receive a package of standoffs. You'll also receive an additional support that you're going to put on your wall and hardware to do that as well. Back side down, you can prop it up by putting the uh, bench top support underneath it. Open your package of standoffs and you're going to take them apart. I've already put the screw in there, so you're going to Take that apart. You'll find there's the head, the body, and two washers. You're going to screw in each of the standoffs. Don't use an electric drill or battery drill, or you may strip it out. You're just gonna apply these with a screwdriver. There's pre-drilled holes for them and just do that until they snug up. I'm going to go ahead and get all of these put in. Your board, depending on whether you had things customized or not, may have standoffs that look different or are in a different configuration. The assembly is the same for all of them. And you're going to put them through all six holes. Line everything up. And just set that down. You're going to add a washer on the back side and line that up and set it in. The washers there are going to protect the acrylic and the roll mark. You want to give it just a twist so the threads catch. I don't have good grip strength. I find that I have to put some of these on with a vice grip. If you have better grip strength than I do, you probably won't need to do this. Okay, so that is how you assemble it. And then it's just a matter of if you want to hang it on the wall. All you have to do is put your hardware up there on the wall. Make sure you're using studs to put your hardware into. This ends up being more like 50 pounds when it's full or more. And if you don't have your, uh, your cleat into the wall into studs or using uh, wall anchors, you're going to find that it's going to rip right out of the wall. A lot of people would prefer to have it on a bench top. You're going to put the uh, support in the back there. The support here is made from solid oak, and that was chosen specifically um, as a hardwood, so it does not break over time like a softwood might, because you're going to be putting a lot of weight on this. So we wanted to put a hardwood in here instead of a softwood. It's going to come completely unfinished, 
I've just put a, a clear coat of poly on it. You can paint it, you can, you know, stain it, whatever you would choose. Probably most people won't bother doing anything with it because it's behind and you're not going to see it anyhow. So that's how you put it together.